We've always wanted to have a bunch of nice fish, simple tank, no complex care, and the best one for you is a molly fish. A beginner can always start from a molly fish. Hey guys, I'm Surdeep Devanathan. I make fish videos and travel vlogs. In this series of episodes, I'm going to talk to you about different fish and their breeds. And throughout the episodes, we will be talking about freshwater fish, the basic necessity, adaption, breeding, and etc. These molly fish are also called lake fish. They are basically found in the shallow regions of freshwater rivers and lakes. They are quite popular for the reason they are live bearers. These fish are almost found in all colors except for blue and green, or maybe they are quite rare. Molly fish are community fish. They love to be found in shoals or bigger groups. One impressive quality about molly fish is that they change colors from season to season. The only way to spot the difference between a male and a female molly fish is to find the anal fin. If the anal fin is sleek, it's a male. If the anal fin is saggy and big, it's a female fish. Special care is required during pregnancy. Males try to mate them more when the size of a female fish is bigger. This is when you're supposed to lift your female fish and place them into a different tank. Within a few days, you might get tiny fries. These tiny fry should never be left with their parents. Sometimes they eat them up thinking it's food. Special care is required for the fry as well. There are varieties of other fish that are similar to the molly fish. That are basically platys, swartail fish, wild mollies, balloon mollies, lyre tail fish, dalmatian mollies, the black molly, sailfin molly, and etc. Let's dive into the characteristics of molly fish. Are they community fish? Yes. What's their average lifespan? 3.5 years. Tank size is about 3 gallons per single fish. Size. The maximum measured size of a molly fish is 4 inch. The cost of a molly fish is low. Special behaviors are the surface swimmers, the live bearers, and they rarely get aggressive when they're found in large groups against aggressive fish. Maintenance of molly fish is one out of five that's the most easiest fish and hence I call it a beginner fish for every fish keeper. No special medication is required for molly fish. Sometimes salt water bath or methylen low dip is required just for the removal of fungal presence in the body. So let's talk about the final and the most important topic of the fish that's feeding a fish. Basically molly fish enjoy or eat any kind of fish that you feed. I feed them general food that we get at the fish store. This is what I feed for the adult fish and for baby fry fish I feed them micro pellets which is very helpful. It's tiny in piece. It also helps in faster growth. The other food I feed them is earthworms. I also feed them daphnia which keeps them healthy, activates their instincts to hunt. Lettuce leaves for balanced diet, also cucumber for balanced diet and also helps in swim bladder diseases. Bloodworms which is rich in iron and proteins. And finally zucchini that prevents constipation for any fish. Now let's finally wind up our video with an interesting fact about blue whale. The world's largest, heaviest, biggest and loudest animal to ever have existed on earth now or even in the prehistoric past is the blue whale. It weighs 50 tons at birth. Fully grown, it is 100 feet long and weighs 150 tons. This is as much as 23 elephants, 230 cows or 1800 men. The largest blue whale on record is a stunning 200 tons. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. In the next video we're gonna talk about another interesting fish, so stay tuned.